All right, we are back and we are ready for this game. I'm not even now ready. And it is gonna be the final best of five battle here for the Evil Geniuses Master Cup Series sponsored by MSI Notebook for an MSI Notebook, the GT660. So Rafa is going to try to get a repeat performance. If DeHang wins, Three, no one gets the two, laptop and it goes to one. me. So, um, no, I, I wish. So, all right, uh, here we get started here as we are on tourney one and we have not seen these two play yet. So I'm very excited to see uh, how it's gonna play out. And you know, I can make as many predictions as, as possible, but not right now. What is Rafa like? He's just totally not- I uh, mean, Ra Rafa delays the mega by, by 20 lot. seconds. Yeah, it doesn't take it at all. I mean, with that, he's able to hit a really nice flick rail onto the hang uh, near that rocket launcher area. That's gonna give him position over this red. So Rafa now with a huge stack over to hang the hang forced to try to get uh that yellow on the bottom no and rafa will get it anyway uh, so there's not a whole lot to hang is gonna do he finally picks up a rail uh stands those rockets so he's gonna have to run around for the next you know a few seconds he's probably gonna try to peek on this mega here oh but no rafa comes right in and to hang with a nice defensive rocket there pushing rafa away if rafa got in there probably would have taken the first frag rafa's gonna now head on over to the red once again he's got it no problem quick little rocket jump up to the top one minute has passed zero zero and right now rafa's definitely poised and staged to get that first frag and you know the two thousand dollars that he just won is great but now he wants to get that msi notebook uh he wants to get that GT660. So that would make a, a very, very large prize purse and a prize pack here for Rafa in winning the Evil Geniuses Masters Cup series. And look at that, a quick frag that I was about to comment on. And before I can, the conversion comes out, a jumping rail to give to Rafa his second frag. And uh, it, it kind of looks like he wants to end this quickly. One, two, three, but don't count to hang out. Never do. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Rafa with another nice rail there, though, knocking DeHang down, uh, taking out all the armor. Rafa missing one rail there, so DeHang able to run away a little bit. He's going to try to wait for this yellow. Rafa's probably going to get the jump on him, and he will, and it's going to force DeHang through the teleport before he can get that yellow. So DeHang is only forced with one yellow. He wanted both to try to maybe uh, fight for this mega, but Rafa instead is going to be able to take that mega cleanly. Uh, and be able to run around a little bit. The hangs is going to have to play this very slow. He does see Rafa rocket jumping up, so it is going to have uh, some advantage for the hang to maneuver a little bit. The question is, is how much advantage is it actually going to give them? It, it appears to me that the, the hang has done more of this, you know, more waiting in this match than he's done in any of the other matches that he's playing. Now, that's not a bad thing by any means. It, because Rafa has control and he's running things really well. Right now, DeHang is looking for that opportunity and it looks like Rafa's gonna spring there. It's gonna go down for the Mega now, but he made a rocket jump up to that mid-level to try to cut off his opponent. It did not happen and now he'll wait out that exit teleporter because he knows that DeHang has been hanging out right over there. So he's gonna now delay the time on the red armor by just a few seconds. And if he could continue to steal this yellow armor in the back room as well, I mean, he is really, really putting the hurt on DeHang as far as the item management. And we got another mega coming up in less than eight seconds. And he's gonna make his way over to where DeHang has been chilling out and uh, see if he can't get some more damage. And he's only gonna get a little, but he Ooh. will give up mega and he better be careful or he might give up uh, red too. So Rafa does uh, give up Mega, uh, and then the Hang also hits the rail. Oh, and then no a nice rocket there from the Hang, but another nice rocket there from Rafa to equalize that one. So two nice shots by each player. Uh, Rafa is going to have the advantage from Armor, going to hit a rocket, and LG down to the Hang, and a rocket finishes the Hang. The Hang trying to wait for that yellow, yellow spawning two seconds after he dies. That it's going to give Rafa position on this red two. We'll see who jumps down for Mega. Uh, he will, and DeHang gets a nice rock down to Rafa. That's gonna allow him to take this Mega, and he will. Wow. Um, so only 85 health though, but that does keep the Mega away from the hands of Rafa into this plasma room area. And Rafa gets the kill after the yellow pickup, so uh, things cannot get uh, much worse for DeHang. A right lot now. of push by DeHang right now. I mean, really being, uh, I would almost say, uncharacteristically aggressive in this battle, and it's allowing Rafa to pretty much play it 
uh, how he wants to. Dehang now finally, oh my gosh, I thought he might be able to get him. But there it is, 28 points of health left for Rafa. Oh. And a grenade kill as well. Oh, he almost wow. gets himself on that. But less than five minutes or just about five minutes halfway through this game. And Rafa took that 1-0 lead and then just steamrolled things to turn it into 7-0. And I mean, quite frankly, this looks a lot like me owning everyone in Blur's Dust Bowl last night, and which is gonna happen again, by the way. But seven to zero, like, that's pretty crazy. That's a pretty quick lead to get in, uh, in five and, uh, and a handful of seconds.